Hi, Stephen Nicholas here. This is a, a first drawing. So if you, this is your first five sequence drawing, I'm going to walk you through it as this is um, Adam's first five sequence drawing. So I think you'll find it really helpful. Most of you probably have the workbook in your hand. And thank you for tuning in to the companion website for the 30 day challenge. So you're going to, to go to this and you're going to go to the first blank page. And you're going to sit that down on the table in front of you. You're going to grab your pencils or your pastels and, and we're going to begin uh, each of us doing a drawing and, you, and you're going to join us. So one of the hardest parts about this process is this, is actually setting up the panels. If you can get through setting up these five panels, now, since there's two of us, I'm going to split this down the middle. You don't need to do that in your paper. And, and then we're, I'm going to want to make five panels more or less equal size. Adam has his five panels. I have my five panels. So we're really drawing in parallel in that I'm going to pick a storyboard and a, a theme and he's going to pick one too. Uh, they're not going to necessarily be related, although they could be. If you're in a, a couple relationship or with your kids, you, you know, you could be doing something similar. But generally speaking, we're just going to work in parallel. I like to be able to do this with uh, my clients and, and coaching clients because uh, I'm inviting them to engage in a certain level of activity and I'm participating at that same level. So the first panel is, the, is what we call a storyboard. So you're picking a storyboard that is either a stuck place you find yourself, a really important question you're exploring, or it could be a positive. It could be a strength or a personal resource. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be a negative. It can be a positive. But for today, we're going to stick with on your first drawing with a stuck state or a really important question that you're exploring and looking for a deeper answer to. So up here a storyboard basically comes from the film and, and television industry where they take a scene and they just do the action of each scene. There's no words, there's no little bubbles with, with uh, text in them. So that's what this is. This is your story without anything from a typewriter keyboard. No exclamation points, no question marks, no dollar signs, no words, no numbers. You've got to fall back on your creativity. So here's a very important point that I want you to make, understand, and that is you're picking a story that you want to create positive difference with. So it could be enlarging a strength or a resource, or it could be resolving and coming to a, a, a more useful place with a, a, a time in your, your life or your relationships where you get stuck, or a really important question that you're exploring. Something that you want to experience positive difference with. Okay? No, nothing that lives in a typewriter keyboard. So this is literal stuff. So we're going to start. Now I've stopped talking because I have to actually come up with my storyboard theme. And, and perhaps, uh, Adam, you've been thinking over our last couple of days on what you might start with. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a huge thing. It can be a small thing. But it's a pattern that you'd like to have more flexibility with, let's say, or something that you'd like to uh, not have be as bothersome for, for you, in, in, you know, kind of in your day-to-day -day life. And do you, do you, are you ready to, to kind of do that? Could it be like me just graduating from college? That would be kind of like, well, it could be the interesting question, but what am I going to do now? Right. Right? And that's what you're thinking? Yeah. Okie doke. Yeah, so that would be a great one, this really important question, like what next? So what you're going to draw here is whatever for you kind of captures that conundrum. You're not drawing to any audience. You're not doing this in such fashion that anybody else needs to understand what you've done. So 
So one of the, the outcomes of working with this is that you're learning, you're practicing how not to try and interpret everything because it's really easy to use the part of our brain that likes patterns and it explores questions like that and confusing interpretation with experience. So we're really wanting to, to kind of exercise that part of our intelligence system that isn't so much about pattern identification as it is about experiencing. So we both have put up a storyboard now with a story that we want to create positive difference with. And hopefully you've got yours down and we're ready to move now to panel two. Panel two, we're going to move out of story. We're going to move into feelings about stories. In particular, my feelings about this story, Adam's feelings about his story. And we're going to just allow ourselves to notice what's the energetic experience, my feeling about this, this story, this storyboard. And then that takes a few seconds. So we call that a felt sense of the story. And I have stopped talking so I can actually notice that. So just allow yourself as I allow myself to experience the feeling about the story. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage my imagination and I'm going to translate my feelings to an abstract color or pattern, color and pattern. Not another story. We have the story. We don't want to do another story here. We want to express how we feel about our two stories as color and pattern. So it requires a little translation. So notice the feelings. And then just playfully, you're kind of just translating that into color and pattern. Abstractly. These aren't, we're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking for something, as I look at it, as Adam looks at it, it goes, yeah, that, that looks like I feel, more or less, right? And they're both abstract, and that's what we want. So we each have a story we want to create positive difference with. We've separated our story from our experience of our story, and then we've put down our experience, our feelings about the story as color and pattern abstractly, not another story. Now we're going to really engage our imagination and we're going to go to panel three. And this is where we ask this really, really interesting question like, how do I really want to feel about this, these two questions, these two stories? And uh, we have to kind of hold that question for a little bit and notice what begins to come up for us and we'll run through different scenarios or whatever in our mind. And, and they'll probably be story based, but then we drop below the story and notice, well, how do I feel about this story, about this panel, which is, how do I really want to feel about my story? This is how we do feel. How do I really want to feel? How do you really want to feel about this story you've started? So we've had, we each have a story that, for in this case, is a really important question that we're exploring, like, what's next? And we get the story out uh, in literal form, and then we notice, separate our feeling about the story. We put that down, translate it to color and pattern. Then we hold this really interesting question, but how do I really want to feel? How do I really want to feel about this really important question that each of us are exploring? through this five sequence drawing process. And, and, and that's what this is. And hopefully you've got yours down on your page and we're gonna go to panel four. Panel four even requires a little bit more imagination. And it requires a little bit more imagination, especially if this is kind of a place, a story where we get stuck in, internally or in other external relationships with our family or work friends or you know, whatever, colleagues. Um, because the answer for, for what we put here is what's the resource? What needs to be different inside of me so that I can actually move from having this feeling about my story, this feeling about my story, to actually ex having this experience of my story. And we don't really know that. And if it's a little bit of a stuck state, 
you, you have to realize, well, this has got to be pretty powerful. So what has to change inside of me, inside of you, inside of Adam, has to be powerful enough that it will allow us to move to have this experience about our story. So it requires a little more uh, contemplation, if you will. So allow yourself to uh, hold that question and, and then notice when you start getting a felt sense of a feeling of the resource. But once again, you're not drawing the story of the resource, even though in your mind that might get you to the resource, but then you're dropping beneath in your mind that story and noticing how do I feel about this resource. Okay, so we're going to call the, these, these four panels good. So we each have a story, in this case, a, a, a really important question we're exploring about what next for us in our lives with certain projects. Uh, for, for, for a 22-year-old Adam, it's a whole lot of life. For me, it's a particular uh, project, in this case, um, actually the um, five-sequence drawing process. And then we separate out how, our, our, how we feel about this story. We translate that to color and pattern so that we get out of story and we get into feelings about story. And then we hold this really interesting question, how do I really want to feel? And as that begins to emerge in our, in our torso area, remembering that this is where we have feelings, thoughts and words up here they're connected but right now we're focusing on this stuff that lives in our torso feelings so we've got those how do i really want to feel how does adam really want to feel and then the question is okay got that that's great but what needs to be different in me so i can actually create this experience about my story that adam can actually create this ex this experience about his story so we've done that there now our transformational work is just about complete. What we're going to do here is we're going to go back to the new story. Because having gone through these things with, with a felt sense of them, um, this story no longer is accurate. So what we want to do is begin to bring the new story as a result of the work we did here in 2, 3, and 4 into the world. So this is a new storyboard that reflects this transformation, this personal transformation. And uh, that's what we're going to do in panel five. So I invite you to begin your panel five right now also. All right, so we both completed these five sequence drawings uh, together. And uh, hopefully yours is also complete. So I appreciate you uh, joining us today for this first five sequence drawing uh, practice. And we'll look forward to having you join us in our next video. Thank you very much. Thank you.